the real estate industry says the government's new ban will do nothing to deter foreign buyers. They'll just find a different way to uh, get into the New Zealand market instead. After campaigning on the promise, the Labor-led government last night passed legislation to uh, shut foreign buyers out with some key exemptions. Tom Furley reports. The international real estate website Jui markets primarily to Chinese investors. Its spokesman David Platter says they saw a big jump in interest from China late last year and that surged again early this year as buyers look to get in before the ban. He says interest isn't likely to wane because the changes to the legislation mean investors can still access new builds. New Zealand does need foreign investment to help build new products and foreign investment is very good for that because especially Chinese buyers are more willing to buy off the plan which gives the developers the commitments they need to get financing to start construction. So uh, we think foreign buyers will continue to be an important part of the market. Uh, it's just that they won't be so active in the existing home segment. The Real Estate Institute Chief Executive Bindi Norwell says she was pleased to see the government change its plans after public consultation to allow foreign buyers to purchase new builds. They may now have more interest in those new developments from overseas. I mean, they have they don't have the requirement to sell them after 12 months, but they are not allowed to live in them. So, yeah, it will just depend on whether they want to live in the country or not, or just have them as an investment. The government has blamed offshore speculators in part for pushing house prices up, but acknowledges there is debate about how much. For the March quarter, official stats NZ figures show just over 3% of homes transferred were to someone who wasn't a New Zealand citizen or resident. Critics, including the country's largest property body, the Real Estate Institute, says the law is unnecessary. Biddy Norwell says it will have no impact on affordability. We're quite disappointed that the bill has now passed its third reading. And we're not alone. It's not just the real estate industry. We're, it's the telecommunications, it's been councils, it's been financial services providers, law firms. So we're not alone in this. Uh, but I guess now the law's in place, we need to, to get the industry prepared for it. The property company Jui says it will continue to advertise New Zealand property with some of its users still based here. However, it says it will have to adapt once the law comes into effect later this year. For Checkpoint, Tom Furley.